Hello, everybody. My name is Dion Morales, your host. Oh, let's wait for them to actually move a ship. Here we go. Hello, everybody. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast. We're coming to you live from round one of the Veteran Flight Club Championships. If you're not familiar with the Flight Club Championship series, this series puts players of similar skill levels together. The veteran level are players who received three to four wins in their qualifying performance. So we have essentially here your quote-unquote average x-wing player we'll see how uh how things end up shaking out today i'm super excited and today i'm joined by my good friend james ritter how's it going james great i am excited for today and uh, i want to see what these vets can do for us well it looks like they, these guys are about to get this started right away i've opened up the choose your champion poll please go ahead those of you out there choose your champion and james let's go ahead and break down those lists all right so we got uh separatists versus resistance today on the left we have i just can't see that name andre bell bell de vinson mm-hmm. how do you say that yeah uh, with playing Zam Wessel uh, in the Fire Spray, with Count Dooku, Thermal Detonators, False Transponder Codes. So Zam coming in super strong. She's a staple in the meta right now. Also sporting General Grievous with Impervium Plating, Solus One. Just a great pocket ace. And a really interesting pick here at Dark Courier in the Sith Infiltrator with Thermal Detonators. Uh, so that's the I2. Mm-hmm. So really interesting pick here. Just a uh, it's a, it's a strong ship, uh, and I don't I don't think we've seen too many of these these dark couriers. No, yeah, they it's kind of taken the place of uh, Brewer Cret, right? Or Bre- Brewer Cret, he was kind of in this. He was a third wheel in this uh, type of Zam for like fire spray Grievous third, and it looks like this might be the next evolution. Yeah, so um, really interesting. I, I, I like these dark couriers, but uh, we'll see. Well, it looks like we're getting our first shot here before we even finish the second uh, list. We might have to close that choose your champion poll early. Let's find out if we uh, if we have to. We'll uh, have Grievous roll here uh, in the box. And we're going to slide on over. There we go. And, okay, has a re-roll because he's out of Merle's arc. That's going to end up being three hits. Let's see what the defense says. Shrugs it off. No problem. Simply the warning shots. The Choose Your Champion poll can stay open. James, go ahead and finish breaking down those lists. I got I to gotta hurry. These guys are in a, in a rush to get this game going. Uh, so, other side over here, we have Matthew Phillipson. Has a re- playing resistance with a uh, Poe Dameron with R4 Pover Drive Gusters and the integrated S foils. So, a pretty slim Poe. Uh, just, um, I think we've seen that that overdrive cluster is a great, great pick on uh, on this hyperspace level Poe. Also, have uh, three A wings. We have Talisan Lintra with Proton Rockets, DZ Tlo with Proton Rockets, and Merle Cobbin with thread tracers and automated target priority. So uh, we got Poe with three A-wings. And uh, and those uh, those I-5 A-wings are sporting some Procket. So we could definitely see some uh, some big hits here coming in from uh, ZZ and Tally. And Murrow always just gunks up everything. So very interesting list. Uh, very, very interesting matchup. I think there's going to be. Uh, we'll see how this dark courier plays in, but uh, he, he doesn't look like he's in a great spot to uh, punch out those those two aimings coming at him. No, yeah, not not yet. Like looking at the positioning, you know what though? He might be bait. You know that that ship is chunky. It's got ten health, a thermal detonator saying, "Hey, you know what? If you want to follow me, you can." You want to take uh, take shots at this booty, but <laughs> but you got you got a weapon back there. 
Yeah, and and and, the, and those Sith infiltrators, they are deceptively maneuverable for a large base ship. Mm-hmm. Uh, granted, it's only a front arc only large ship, which we don't we don't see those too often. But it is uh, it has that five k. I think it has the one is the one sloop or the two sloop. I want to say it's the one sloop uh, on the dark courier. Yes, it's two sloop. Two sloop. Yep. Yeah, just. Just very deceptively maneuverable for a large base ship. Yeah, when I saw the two sloop, I was like, oh, hey, you look, you're the old jump master, but not. <laughs> <laughs> but better. Yep. Right? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't doesn't have some of the some of the mean tools on it, but it's, ve- it's very, very similar. Very, very similar. Yeah. And, it's uh, consistent. Yeah, exactly. Now, one of the uh, the other things is that it also has that 5K, right? So the the... The difference between a 5K and a two sloop is absolutely massive. Um, we'll see when and if that comes to fruition here. But you can see the resistance. The resistance has some decisions to make. Obviously, Zam and uh, and Grievous are the bigger bigger hitting parts of this list. But with um, you know Matthew having the initiative advantage with Poe. Um, and also being able to move ZZ and Tally at at a you know, at a as the second player, they're going to get get to read and react on Zam, uh, Zam and Grievous just a little bit as well. So Merle turning away from General Grievous and Zam Wessel, uh, hopefully trying to uh, uh, try, trying to maybe catch Bullseye here on uh, the Dark Courier, which he does. That Dark Courier is lined up straight Bullseye on Merle Cobbin, so that Dark Courier will have reduced agility. Mm-hmm. And a little bit of insight here from uh, Gold Squadron. Uh, some, I know some people ask, why do you pick certain factions? And usually the lowest represented faction in the event is the one you will see round one. There's a little little bit of back, uh, you know, back backstage information for you guys. As for our faction breakdowns, let's go ahead and give them to you. We have 33 separatist lists that is the top represented 31 rebels 31 empire so all pretty even there fourth is scum with 24 republic 24 middle of the pack first order has 14 and the resistance has nine. Oh man zz flow coming in hot with that boost focus lining up that procket Here's the thing, though, James. I I know that the goal is to try to get that procket off, but I kind of have this this suspicion that if I'm Andre, I'm not super upset if two of my of the prockets in uh, in Matthew's list get used on the Dark Courier. Like those are two prockets that are not going into Zam, and Zam is the is the tougher cookie to crack here. I'm yeah, pretty sh- that's definitely a good. That's definitely a good point. Um, you definitely want to be throwing that that procket into something that's a, a little bit more uh, dangerous, I guess. Uh, and Sam Wessel is uh, what I would consider very dangerous. Uh, but if you're able to maybe knock off this dark courier in you know one or two rounds, I mean, that's that's huge. That's uh, that's fifty four points in the bag. Mm, did did. It looks like Merle should be stressed. All right, we'll go ahead and get that in the activation. We'll let him finish their engagement. Chat, keep us honest on that one. It's spawning as uh, as Novella targets, and the lines aren't coming up, so we don't know if it's obstructed. Ah, this is because they did something weird with the table. Uh, Okay. Yep, this happened because of the rewind problem. Um... Decisions, decisions, decisions. Yeah, they broke it. Uh, we're just going to have to eyeball it. Um, I, I think it overlaps. Uh, it doesn't... No, maybe not. <sighs> Hold 
Hold on a second. Try. Uh, tell them to try deleting and reassigning the dial. Okay. See if that works. Ooh, yeah, that's a good one. Please hold. <laughs> so yeah, PSA. Don't hit rewind and uh, don't control Z in Tabletop Simulator. If you do, let your opponent know right away. Wonky things will happen. Uh, okay. So delete the old dial. I have to delete the old dial first. Well, yeah, okay. They might have to replace the ships too, but let's, let's find out. Check the arc. Hey guys, check that arc for me now. Hey, we did it! Bingo, bango! Oh, you you were right. Dion is not obstructed. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. This is why Dion is the T O. Yeah. <laughs> good decisions. Hug, hug, hugs and kisses, baby. Hugs and kisses. All right. This is uh, Sam Wilson going into Merle Coppin, range two, unobstructed. Range for real this time. One of each got a little trail mix going. Decisions, decisions. Do you want to use... It has the force available to modify if they want. There is a, a force token hiding there behind Zam. Here's the roll. And, ooh, Merle can't, can dodge it by spending one. Yeah, Mer Merle is definitely a ship you want to get off the board if you're a uh, if you have a medium base ship or a low ship count list because the reduction in agility that he can cause is uh, is pretty significant when you have a bunch of other ships shooting at you. But here we go. We have some more shots coming in. Tally has the Dark Courier range one in the bullseye and is going to go ahead and fire in the the rockets. Pew 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 pew. Yeah, this is gonna be. This could be a huge hit. Five dice has a focus, and that's gonna be four after spending. Tally, and, uh, not even be, this hesitating. Should no, this should be no defense. Oh, actually, because Merle's out out of range. Sorry. Yeah, Merle's out of range there, but takes all four of the shields. I'll trade you your shields for my pocket. Okay, good trade. Range one. Another procket, another set of four. And has the option to spend the focus here. Might hold on to it for offense, honestly. Yep, I like the call here. Go for defense. Uh, sorry, go for offense. You're likely not going to be sticking around too much longer, and you have a range one shot into a, uh, into a ship. Um, to take it while you got it. And... Uh... So Mura only works on primary attacks. We for I forgot. Yeah. Yeah, I could I could also see the dark courier possibly going into Merrill here if it's not obstructed, uh, because he does have that grievous shot as well with uh, his his uh, double mods. So he could get he could get Merle off of the table this round if he's gonna get some good shots in. That's right. So that means that the Dark Courier at this point uh, is at two hull. Here comes Grievous trying to do some retaliation. And who's the target? It's four dice either way. Hmm. Yeah, this is a hard decision. I think he has a. Uh, both of them are valid options, I think. 
Like ZZ's used her procket, so she's st she's still dangerous as any A wing would be. But well, she has to focus. You're more likely to hit Merle, and if you want to get rid of that, uh, if you want to try to get rid of the, I remember ZZ gets the focus back from uh, the ability, right? ZZ's ability. Yeah. Yeah, she, she's already used it this round, though, to keep her focus from the attack. Exactly. So that's why she currently has a focus already. And it looks like Grievous and the Dark Courier are probably going to double team ZZ there. Um, we saw the shot being selected on ZZ. Maybe strip some tokens. Got hit, hit, crit. The defense uh, is going to end up stripping the focus and takes a shield. Dark Ooh, wow. Courier looking hungry. Yeah, we'll, we'll see if... Um... We'll see if Matthew remembers his Talisman Lintra trigger. It looks like he does. And that's a string of four. Oh man. Only one shield. Oh one shield after that. So that was that was the tally trigger, right? That's why there was four yes, dice. Sir. There. Yep. Yeah. All right, so after two big hits coming into ZZ, only taking two shields, uh, which is pretty big for an A-wing, but uh, I think Matthew Matthew got out pretty lucky there. Yeah, not bad. Merle still has a shot here. We'll see where he's going. Okay, interesting. Going into, I guess he just doesn't want to give Zam those charges yet. Not additional charges. She can already bonus attack if she wants to. Ooh. Two crits looking at Grievous. No rerolls here. Doesn't need mods. <laughs> I am Merle. I need nothing. And has a focus. We're fine. Everything's fine. Oh, that advanced target pri or automated target priority already coming in. Uh, go ahead, James. Can you read that to us? Let us know uh, what yeah. that trigger was. While you perform an attack, you must choose a defender at the closest valid attack rate. So that's something we'll have to keep an eye on. Mm -hmm. After you place, after you perform an attack that missed, place one calculate token on this card. Before you engage, you may remove one calculate token from this card to gain a matching token. So now that he has one calculate token for missing that attack on Grievous, he can, when he engages, he he can spend his focus that he you know took as his action for defense. And get a automated target priority calculate for his attack when he engages. That's right. O o always be modded. <clears throat> always be modded. No, very, very, uh, very good, very good ability. But it, it could, it could be weird for him if, if, uh, if he wants to attack someone at a further attack range. Yeah, so, and to clarify that, anybody who's maybe not 100% familiar with automated target priority, um, remember, it's valid attack range, right? So, uh, if there are multiple ships within range 2, for instance, you can choose any ship within range 2, regardless of the distance. It's uh, only a difference between the actual range band. So, if there's somebody in range 1 and somebody in range 2, uh, he must choose range 1. Now, it is for other ships that can end up carrying it we'll see if we end up having to talk about it but just to clarify um it can be dependent on the weapon that's chosen by the person yeah. which can alter whether or not you actually have to pay attention to it. it's it's it has some interesting um alleys that it can go down but just for for this game it's going to be pretty cut and dry for merle as merle only has um either tracers or its primary and, the, and those tracers are range one to three, so it, it's usually not going to be a big deal. But if he was carrying something like a concussion missile, where it doesn't have that range one band, uh, it could be weird because like he could have someone at range one in his front arc with his turret forward, but he chooses to use the concussion missile on a ship that he has locked out at range three, and he can do that because the only ship that he can attack with that concussion missile is the ship that he has locked. Mm-hmm. So it, it definitely provides some weird interactions sometimes, but for the most part, like you said, it's it's just going to be whatever he has in arc. Now, looking at uh, 
at a couple of things here. Uh, Zam, let's talk about Zam a little bit. Remember, she starts with two charges active. She hasn't been shot, has she? Ooh, she might have used one of the the cards that lets her get back. Two ah, charges. she was prob she probably had you better mean business active. You better mean Ooh. business was active, allowing for two charges to be flipped at the end of engagement if you were sitting in uh in an attacker's arc. So that is a very good use of that. Uh very most people en end up starting with you should thank me because it feels more more likely that it will trigger. You got it. Those are definitely calculated risks when you go yeah. for the uh, what if I'm not shot ability. Yeah. E either way there, I think Zam would have been happy with that because if she had defended, she could have spent the two charges to do another attack against Moro. Mm -hmm. And if if she if, if Moro doesn't attack her, then she gets two free charges. Sounds like the best of both worlds. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I think I think both sides of. Uh, of both of Zam's cards, you better mean business, and you should thank me. Or have you know legitimate uses, which I think is really good design space. I, when when I first read the cards, you know, it, it looked confusing and weird. But um, I, I thought that we'd, the only one we'd ever see would be the one that gives you locks. Right. Uh, but as you can see here, it's you know, both sides or you know both options for both cards are very useful. Which is just what makes Zam, uh, crew and pilot, just an incredible piece in any list. Absolutely love it. Now, the Dark Courier obviously is in kind of a weird position. Um, it does move after uh, Merle, so you know that that space is going to be open. Is is the answer the 5K here? Hope to get some shots off. There you go. Dropping. Looks like he's dropping some thermals. Making some noise on the way out. Yeah, I think I think the five K is a, a valid option because Merle is moving before the Dark Courier, so that that space will be open. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the problems that the five K could possibly make is you might be blocking Zam's path. But you know, it, it's. It's going to be, uh, you don't have the two, I mean, I guess you could two sloop to the left, but then you're sending the same problem for Grievous. Hard choices all around. Hard choices all around. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think they're all viable, though. Oh, they're just they're just changing the uh, the template design, making sure they, they read as thermal detonators there. Mm -hmm. Merle doing a hard two and focus and rotate his arc to the front. I got these lasers. Don't don't be ignoring me. And Ooh. interesting. Took this three turn or sorry, uh, three bank. You know what though, James? This could end up being tactical, depending on what the goal of that move was from Andre. Because if ZZ and Tally are focusing on. On Grievous and Zam, the Dark Courier might be able to get away clean this turn yeah, and then flip behind Merle next turn. Yeah, that's actually a really good, really interesting point. Um, he, he does catch the Dark Courier in that uh, in Dark Courier's Brawl's Eye, so his ability will be active. But it doesn't look like ZZ and Tally are in a, in a, in a spot to capitalize on it. And this is, this is the role for the Cloud on... Uh, for the dark courier. Oh, they grabbed the wrong token. That's a string. <laughs> yeah, there you go. They grabbed an ion initially. All right, ZZ doing a three bank, nice and casual. Um, looks like I mean, if they want a shot, it's just focus, rotate, and go after the dark courier. Might be debating boosting to a left to get a shot at Grievous, but of course that does uh, end up. You know, putting you your, your trajectory might be a little bit too far off. And where's Poe? Poe's just kind of hanging out. Are we? You think we're getting a turn in here? Yeah, probably probably a too hard, and uh, just kind of just kind of following Zam. The thing is, though, that Zam also has those extremely powerful thermal detonators uh, that can uh, that can still threaten Poe on his uh, on his follow in. Ooh. Tally fits the too hard. 
she might be able to finish the job there at range one but uh looks to likely be the focus of some separatist propaganda that's what we'll call the lasers <laughs> <laughs> and uh I, I usually don't see tally procking too many too many times in a game but this is going to be the second time that tally's going to proc yep already it's like i'll take a defense die thank you so a reminder that when a enemy ship of uh according to tally right an enemy ship is attacking and she has them in the bullseye she can use a charge to add a defense die to the defender it could be her herself or some or one of her buddies now poe th this is what i was a little, i was worried about this kind of like skittish poe play where you're you're expecting to kind of arc dodge and uh matt you know matthew is, is being safe with poe but at the same time poe's not contributing and he's yeah, really he, expensive he, he, yeah, he's leaving his uh, his A wings out to out to dry a little bit here. All here right. comes uh, Zam, Zam Wessel. Oh, they gotta get these bombs. And it does end up hitting ZZ. I will say, I'm also. I know I saw some people in the chat doing double takes. Um, I I also was a little confused when Ooh. I saw. Oh, okay, takes a crit there. Let's see what we end up getting. It is a structural damage, minus one agility there for ZZ. Uh, I did get a little confused when I saw ZZ in yellow and Tally in red. Most of the time, that's flipped. <laughs> for the record, I tried to change it, but he spawned it as an object and it wasn't working. I was super bummed. Yeah. I, w I wonder why that is. It, maybe because most people spawn in ZZ before they spawn in tally on their list yeah when you make a yasby you go zz most important and then tally <laughs> yeah i think you i think every resistance list actually starts with zz i don't even know if you have an option <laughs> well here we go we got a round uh range one shot here coming in from zam wow that's a that's a great shot if you had a focus yeah a whole lot of but nothing he... did did a boost there so could choose yeah. to use dooku here but probably doesn't feels a little bad yeah I think you may choose to use Dooku on General Grievous's attack on Merle. I would. call Dooku a blank. I would definitely do that. But here is ZZ going against that Dark Courier at range two. Good. It's going to be a two on one attack. Yeah. Hit crit. So he do, he should get a defense die here. Oh no, he's strained. No, he's strained. Nothing. Oh. Gone. Dead. Wow. So, like I said, like getting that dark courier off the board super early, like, I mean, he, he the dark courier is the, is the same amount of points as Grievous. Yep, and he also had uh had Merle's Merle's um. Ability, I think, active in that one as well. No, uh, I think ZZ's a little bit too far away from Merle for it to work. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. Well, the strain, yeah, the, the strain. Yeah, yeah, the, stra the strain got him. Yeah. Uh, not sure who this one's into, but a decent roll. Oh, choosing to take, to use his focus instead of taking that shield on Grievous. So no damage. And here we go. He wants uh, he wants the big swing right here. So General he, Grievous, yeah. range one. And that Ooh. looks like it's going to be a good one. We got the reroll. That's a full string. Four hits. Oh, and, and he forgot to use Tally. Tally's ability was available there, potentially. Uh, is going to end up still taking one. Who knows? Only the Fates know. Yeah, so it looks like he used... Du he called Dooku mm, for a blank. For the blank, yes. So two shields. 
Half points, half points. Yeah, that James definitely a situation where Tally could have could have potentially given yeah. Merle another another um, another die there. Yeah, and, and even if that die was a blank, the Duku uh, the Duku spin would have would have would have not costed him a shield. Yeah, you, you're hundred percent right. Hundred yeah. percent right. Didn't even think about that. So, yeah, I think about think about all the options. <laughs> oh man! So taking off Dark Courier uh, pretty early, but Andre uh, Baldwinson still has half points on uh, Tally. Oh, sorry, it's half points on ZZ and Merle. Yep, score right now forty-one fifty-four. Matthew is leading. I'm st I know that Matthew's ahead. I'm still a l little worried about the Poe position. Now, mind you, if he can stay ahead with the A wings and do something like half Zam, that could end up, you know, then Poe just kind of comes in and cleans up. But I feel that most most people are starting to understand that Poe is is trying to be that end game ship. But if you take care of everything else and you have both Grievous and uh, Zam pretty healthy going into the end game versus Poe. Poe is likely going to lose that game. Yeah, Poe po, po wants to be an end game ace, but I just don't think that he has the tools to do it a lot of the time. James, you don't believe? I I, I love oh, Dion. I love Poe. <laughs> <laughs> I love Poe, but I I just think that he um. Oh man, I I think Poe is one of those ships to where you have to fly it perfectly for for him to work out for you. Mm -hmm. And and uh, without without some heroic insurance in hyperspace, <laughs> uh, it, it's it's a hard it's a it's a hard knuck life for 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 for, for, for Poe here. He, here uh, at the extended hangar bay, the extended resistance hangar bay, we'd like to offer you heroic insurance. Would you accept? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Bye. <laughs> is, <laughs> is um is backwards tail slide in hyperspace? Um, I don't know. Back, I it so. is. It's 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 two points though. I actually really enjoy backwards tail slide when you have that pover drive. I have I have yet to see a. A worthwhile use of the card that might Fair, exist but, it's but i have fun though <laughs> <laughs> sorry that there's my competitive bias showing <laughs> sorry let me put my competitive bias away uh i, I mean I, I agree it's very difficult for it to matter mm -hmm. a lot of the time but uh when you pull it off it looks cool now, really quick here to the chat, I want to say, I hope you guys don't think I'm ignoring you. Uh, I had mentioned earlier that my my screens are now in a different configuration because I'm in my new office. And um, I keep looking in the spot where the chat normally is, and there's nothing there. But my brain is trained to look in that spot. <laughs> so I'm working on it. Here, we got <laughs> a, uh, a roll there for the thermal detonator is that what that was um no i think it, he hit the cloud yep it's for the strain uh for the strain okay got it. i got confused i got confused because i saw them flip a shield there for a second might have been just okay that must have been on them okay here we go zz two bank Two banking to the corner, probably just slapping down the focus. There's not really much you can do from that position. Tally Ooh. sitting in range one. Even a strain Zam can be dangerous, especially if you plan on shooting into her. Did she? I thought he already rolled. Did Tally not roll? Tally appears to have overlapped. Yeah, he rolled one dice and got nothing. It wasn't uh, in the box. It wasn't in the box. Oh, I didn't even see. Uh, 
That's why you always roll in the box. Right? Always roll in the box. The box will punish you. <coughs> it will. You ignore me? All righty. So we're going to see a focus. Pulver Two drive boost. Boost, yeah. Get into it. Let's go. Poe actually trying to do some work here. By the way, shout out. I think I saw earlier Kellyanna um, had donated, I think it was 20 subs to get us started for this morning. Thank you. And, of course, everybody who has uh, resubscribed or subscribed for the first time, thank you so much for supporting Gold Squadron and our efforts here to bring you guys X-Wing Entertainment. First shot, two hits to get us started. This is Poe going into Zam. And looks like going to get a shield mm. right off the bat. We're going to flip that card, the Zam What's card. What's in the box? Uh, what we need, the Zam card. Zam card. So and you, you should thank, thank me. me. So recover to sh uh, a, a charge, or of course, already at full, but can acquire the lock. Um, he has false transponder code, so he may not want to. Okay, he will. Crispy2020 in the chat, uh, because this, this event does not use the unconventional warfare, um, options, you will not see that on stream today. I can neither confirm nor deny if people who gotten three losses or more could use it later during the event. Uh, you know, can't confirm or deny whether whether or not they are doing that, but we won't see it on stream as this is uh, the 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 rules of engagement were preset before that. Here we go, hit hit crit, going into Ooh. it and oh, hit hit crit going into tally. That's a panic pilot, double stressed. Zam laying the pain. Uh, she rolled too many. Same All result. Right. No, I think she got one extra. She she didn't get before. Mm -mm -mm. Roll three dice, get one eye, and then roll two dice, get one. Uh... Got it. Yep. Yep. No crit then. We good. We good. We good. No panic, pilot. I take it back. Lies of the Jedi. Who, who, who's panicking? I'm, I'm not. Not me. Not you. No, nor Tally. <laughs> <laughs> so fun, fun walk in the chat here. Fun walk in the chat here saying uh, all these all these aliens doing the hard work and uh, Poe's over here messing with Zari. Or messing <laughs> with, what's her name? Uh, yeah, Zari? Yeah. Ah, I guess. So I think Z Zori. Zori, yes. Yeah. Zori. yeah. Three hits and an eyeball going into Merle. And uh, Merle taking two. Let's get some Fs in the chat for Merle Coben. We hardly knew you. Here comes ZZ. Try, trying to get the, uh, the ball rolling here against Zam. Not going to be able to do it, though. And there we are. Oh. There are the Fs in the chat. Yeah, where's my heroic? <laughs> no heroic today. Not even heroic would have saved you. So uh, it, the aliens are in not the worst position. They they, they do like the uh, the enemy to chase them. Yeah, they they like to chase. The thing is, like, j just looking at the positioning, Zam has such an aggressive path um, against. I mean, actually, no. Wait a second. That's an initiative five. So, mm. and and Zam's moving first. So right. she's probably not going to get an action this turn. Might just end up. Banking to the left, get around the cloud, and and start the pursue of ZZ. By the way, ZZ's in yellow for anybody who's just joining us today. Uh, but I'm going to tell you, Grievous, Grievous doesn't mind chasing too much. Just start pecking oh, yeah. away at Good people. 
Good point. He doesn't care if you're an arc or not. He cares about the front arc. Right. I think I think that Grievous should go and try to bully Poe. Head yeah. to head to the yeah. right side and and just keep keep Poe off of uh, off of Zam's tail and then just start pecking at him. Yeah. I, I... Poe's in a great spot, though, because he, he wants to do that straight maneuver, but he's just... Uh, I think it, it, it'll just clip that rock there. So he's going to have to bank or turn, which is not going to put him in a good spot if Grievous does chase him down. Yep. And just a, just a quick uh, quick correction there, James. Uh, Grievous is in the firing arc. Whatever, Whichever firing yeah. arc it's, it is. It's the firing arc? Am I? Yeah. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I just always kind of read that as the front arc. Wow. Okay. Thank you. No worries. Our brains, they lie. Unreliable <laughs> memory. Oh, gosh. Yeah. <laughs> I literally had yeah. this conversation with my with my students, uh, with one of my students yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the words that came out of my mouth, um, you could imagine how I said it to the student. I was like, because they, they were trying to memorize this piece of music unnecessarily. Like, they're a beginner. And they're playing it wrong, and I'm like, you're not actually reading the music. And they're like, yes, I am. I'm like, no, you're playing from your memory. And they're like, well, well, we've we've done the song a few times. I'm like, well, do you actually have it memorized? It's like, yes. And why are you playing it wrong? I don't know. And I was like, it's because your memory, <laughs> because your memory is a lie. <laughs> we had a good, we had a good laugh. And then I just, you know, explained a little bit how sometimes our minds can uh, can alter what we think something was depending on how we uh, we took the information in at the time. So, yeah, that's uh, a, so a, go, going into the system phase here. Looks like uh, Andre might drop some thermal detonators. You thinking uh like to try to catch Poe? Yeah, maybe, but he decided not to. Not today. Not today. Hmm. Grievous is not, not as good as I thought then. I thought it was front arc. I'm still stuck on this. It's okay. <laughs> it's alright. It's all cake, James. It's all cake. The cake is a lie. <laughs> Sorry, it's automatic. I can't even. <laughs> All right, ZZ hiding behind the bacon. Saying Saturday morning brunch. Yes, please. Is Dion giving out cake? As soon as we get sponsored by a cake company that will allow me to send out cake to you guys, I'm in. Also, if you have contacts at a cake company, let me know. <laughs> And here's the five straight getting uh, getting Tally out of there. You see that rotate? Yeah, rotate to the rear to get a shot on Zam if he wants to take it. Mm hmm. Okay, yeah, t takes the lock right now. Yeah, I, I think what's going to end up happening in this game, unfortunately, uh, we have 30 minutes left. And, and I am just – the the play on Poe has been too cagey. Too, too cagey. I know that Poe got, got, got a couple shots last turn. But at this point, when you're, when you're down uh, by, what is it now, 25 points – uh, you're you're going to – you need to start getting that initiative six ace to do something for you. And right now you're just you letting, get, you're just letting Zam aggressive. shoot you. Yeah, exactly. Hit crit. Going into tally. Safe there. Showing off those – showing off those evade dice. All right. Do you shoot here? Oh, he is. Oh. Hit crit. Might do something here. Three dice. He's able to save that focus. Ooh. Ooh yes. Yes. And uh, likely this is a you better mean business trigger. He's already getting the dice out. <laughs> He's got to flip the card. There it is. And yes, you better mean business. He's going to perform a bonus attack. After you defend, spend two charges. If you do, perform a bonus attack against the attacker. 
Two out of four charges have been flipped. Here we go. So he still has the Dooku Force here. Mm-hmm. Uh, missed opportunity to use it there. Uh, yeah. He could, he could have called the crit. I'm kind of surprised that he didn't, because there's no other shots happening. That is yeah. just that is just uh, that's just a miss there. Yeah, I was gonna say that. I mean, he could have just saved it for the the defense, or not the defense, but the uh, just use it for regular force modification. True that. Dooku True that. Is only range zero to two. On, on his on himself. Attack. Oh oh oh. Not yeah, because he could have called it on the second bonus attack called crit and, and changed that to a crit. I'm range zero of me. Me. <laughs> I need to rewatch that quick tips video. It's all, it's all right. <laughs> it's all right. You know what's my other favorite thing about my new office, James? I can I kind of walk, like, walk around, keep my, keep my hips loose. Ooh. Yeah, uh... Are you, are you using the stand-up function? Uh, right now, I actually can't put it in the stand-up function because I need a, pow a longer power cord. <laughs> I, <laughs> if I stand up my desk, it will unplug. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, my computer yeah. will unplug itself. We, we got some new... Uh, we got some stand-up desks at the office, and I went out and bought a... Um, like, a really long... Uh, what do they call it? Like, an uh, outlet that has like, a bunch of... Uh, mm -hmm. Like, a surge protector yep. that has a ton of of things on it and i basically just like taped it to the bottom of my desk that way when i go up and down nothing really changes for the computer it, exactly mine just hasn't come in yet that's the yeah <laughs> just wait wait yeah you gotta you gotta, get, you gotta get a nice one because uh it's a lot of it's a lot of uh a lot of firepower going through that surge protector a lot of juice all right uh, looking, yeah. looking oh. at the positioning here. I mean, Zam, Zam, and Grievous are just going to continue bullying the A wings. Um, we'll see. Poe, Poe's going to have to take some risks here, or maybe, maybe we, if if he wants to engage, it's going to end up being head on. Now he can talent roll, right? Talent roll to the left, and then be able to make it up to the top. Otherwise, he's going to, you know, I guess he could hard turn, hard turn into the corner. Yeah, I think I think the talent roll is the, is the is a better option now. All right, it's keeping it nice and casual with Zam, pointing in the general direction of where things are going. Some pseudo pseudo formation flying there from Grievous and Zam. Yeah, Grievous right. and Zam have been good buddies this game. Buddy old pal. Mm-hmm. And yep, that's gonna they're gonna have some shot. They are heading into that corner. Ooh, coming around the other way with Tally. Choose. This is a choose situation. Interesting. I, I, li I like I like the split here though. It does force the direction in one way or another. And here is that. Gonna open the foils. And do that talent roll. Uh, Jonah, can you delete the panic pilot from Tally's uh, overlay, please? Sure. Thank you. I always leave them on just for record, by the way. Um, but I, I can I can remove that. No, no worries. Remember, it, that's the crit that didn't end up sticking. Hit crit. <laughs> oh. From Poe, he did do the talent roll. And, ooh, going to be able to get something here. Very nice. Uh, and uh, ZZ does have a structural damage right now. So not rolling four dice here. Here's Sam. Hit crit. Safe. Shrug it off, spin, little A-wing. Shrug it off. Spin the focus. Get a focus. That's how, that ZZ ability is uh, truly top tier. A 
Uh, did we get a... Uh, a re Some people asking what was the, the Zam card? That's a good question. When Poe shot, we should have gotten the Zam card. Oh, uh, yeah. So... So you can see it didn't mm. it didn't get flipped because it didn't matter. It's essentially is what is is what happened there. It's like I can't shoot you anyway, but it does get it's flipped. A, you, it, you better, you better be, business. be business. So he could have spent two charges to perform an attack against Poe, but he he didn't have a narc. Yeah, and the trigger there is you know, after after being attacked. So. Should have should have flipped it anyway, but that's that's likely when we see people not flip it, it's mostly uh hey you can't do anything here. Though when you have a lot of ships firing, that information uh, needs to be available for those other shots if it happens. Some other interesting stats here dropped by our very own Ryan Stanazuski in the Twitch chat earlier today. He broke down the uh, percentage of how many ships, the ship count percentage of the field. And would you like to guess the highest number, two through eight, James? Which group do you think had the highest number of ship count? I, I've I've been seeing a lot of two ship builds lately. I'm I'm gonna say two. False. That no? is almost the smallest representation, oh. or one of the smaller representations. Oh, fine. Thirty-two percent. Thirty-two percent of the field took four ships. Thirty-two percent of the field. That's the most. Took four ships. Twenty-nine percent of the field took three ships. Um, two ship lists only made up six percent. Only 6%. But the second highest is three ship, which is 29. So three and four is is about where more than half the community is sitting right now. Interesting. I, I, I'm a big fan of Republic 4 ship. So that, that's my kind of bread and butter. So James is like, that's me. They're talking that's about me. me. <laughs> I don't think I don't think I've competitively flown a list in a very long time that didn't have N one Andy on it. <laughs> so that's how you build the list, right? Start the list, yeah, all start, right? Start all with right. N one Andy. Is he, is he do advanced protons or regular protons? <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll build from there. We force choking or we snuggling? Which one is it? Yeah. <laughs> that's some really interesting stats, though. Yeah, very cool. Only 1%, only 1% of the field took eight ships. Is that like one one list? I think it might be one, maybe two. All right. If, uh, if Poe can land this right, he might be able to maybe arc dodge here. That'll be close. Depends on what the what the maneuver is here. What's the goal, Poe? What do you want to do? Zam, Zam is probably thinking about the possibility of boosting, getting in Poe's face. And nope. the focus. Okay. I mean, I think looking at the position, if Poe decides to do something like a barrel roll, he's going to end up in front of a rock anyway. So it's like, hey, you either stay here and I shoot you or you end up running into an obstacle next turn. I really don't care which one it is. You choose. <laughs> and here comes Tally on the backside. Focus boost. One left bank. And here's the two bank. And... Let's see. Are his wings open or closed? They are open. So no barrel rolls. No barrel rolls. Well, I think we're you stay there and you choose violence, sir. Target lock oh. focus. Is, is that what he's gonna do? He's or just oh. first. Oh, he could boost past, but he's still getting a shot. Oh well, huh, I don't. Uh, you know what? It gives you a better shot on Grievous. You're still taking a shot on uh, from Zam, Ooh. but you got this. This uh, it's range two though. Oh, just short. Just shy. Just yeah. shy. 
Ooh. He has to decide whether he wants to save the focus or spend it. I mean, you made this decision. You you got you got to choose it now. He's choosing violence. He's coming in blasting. Remember, Grievous will have rerolls. He can he can reroll that blank again. Oof, and he is going to be taken two there. Uh, he can. He can spin the focus. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming he's gonna he's gonna spend it. That's why I have two instead of three. Yeah. Felsepto, thank you so much for gifting five subs. We are at 44 right now. Killing it already. Got a range two shot out the back. Or range one into Poe. I think that's where you go. Today is a rhyming day. This is what we know. So roll oh. those dice. Make it good. I lost my rhyme. All right, here we go. <laughs> Hit crit. Like, Where's he going to go with this one now? <laughs> uh, so and, using that lock that he had. Oh, spend it, baby. There it is. Three hits and a crit. Ooh. And Poe is getting those shields ripped off. So choosing to spend the Dooku Force here instead of the Focus. So he does not have Dooku for any of these shots up coming up. All right, we'll see what the Zam card is after the defend. And um, this is going into Grievous. At the, the going into Grievous, okay. Does take one. All right. Not a crit though, so Impervium plating not have not a not affecting this one. Yeah, you know what, man? When Grievous goes through his entire engage, like we see these games where Grievous takes no crits whatsoever and just dies like a chump. And then there's yeah. these other games where he's just like a god because all the crits are coming in and he's <laughs> yeah, he's just I think, I think pushing you, them off. If you're taking a pervium, you have to take Solus just for the increased chances for it to happen. Two Ooh. crits and an eyeball. Speaking of throwing crits, with the trip crit, 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 get uh, him in the chat. Yeah, I think you want to see. We want to make sure that he's not in ZZ's arc, right? Because he can't reroll unless... Right. Check ZZ. Check ZZ back <coughs> arc. This could Fair definitely time. be the end of ZZ here. All right. Uh, confirmed. Done. Wow. Three crits coming in. Ooh. Spend takes one. ZZ gone. And now it's just Tally and Poe. The spark of the rebellion starting to fade. Ooh, sad. <laughs> 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 All right, oh. so I definitely think we'll see two of those thermal detonator charges, and uh, which is definitely going to keep Poe. If, if he wants to stay in the fight, he's going to have to just eat those thermal detonators. And you better mean business was just revealed. Oh no. No, that that's that's fine. No oh, Okay, he recovers too. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, he Oof. recovers too. Wasn't wasn't shot. Yeah, if it was you should thank me, he'd be able to shoot there. Um crit. Oh, wait a second. Oh, there should have been an additional die, I think, for ZZ on defense. No, was there a range? It was a range three shot from Grievous, a range two. She, she had structural. She ah, uh, structural damage. The damage was structured. Wait, that yeah. was backwards. You know what I meant. Stru <laughs> <laughs> it was it was structured damage though. This is true. This is true. So I got a question for you, Dion. Hit me. Where do you see uh, the upcoming points change? Where, how many points up do you see the Zam pilot and or the Zam crew going up? Because obviously, many? I think I think at this point everyone's in agreement that it is a little bit undercosted. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna have to go look at the numbers here. Let me go ahead and and pop open 
I will tell you, I, I I don't retain these numbers in my in my brain space. I have to look at them each time. Um, let's let's go see. Well, the crew the crew is what right now? Like two, four, four, four. Okay, sorry, I said two. That was stupid. Uh, four, <laughs> four. Um, uh, let's go look at some other crew similar. Yeah, I think one of like the the good. Um, you uh, know what? I think take... I think Zam and Django as crew need to flop points. Make Django four. Make Zam seven. Flip those. Is what I would do. Huh? Yeah. We 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 don't see Django crew at all. Nobody plays that. It because do, it doesn't make any sense. I, I like in. Zam crew, uh, to the lock gaining abilities of Magva Yaro crew, where Magva Yaro is seven points for the rebels. After you defend, if they attack hit, you may acquire a lock on the attacker. Mm. And she and Magva is seven points, and uh, Zam crew is only four, and Zam crew lets you bonus attacks. Yep. But yeah, I, I definitely I do I would do an aggressive change to Zam and see what happens. Uh we talked we talked with our interview with um with Max, you know, making those decisions on when to put points up and put points down. Um th that difference of, you know, sometimes you gotta do small little changes, but sometimes you gotta do big stuff. So we'll see. Obviously it's a it's in AMG's court uh whenever that would happen. Yeah. So, I mean, like, another likeness is, like, Perceptive Copilot is, like, a super, super incredible option for uh, medium-based ships. Or for anybody, really. And um, that one's eight points. Or is it, seven, is it seven or eight? Eight points. So, I I'm thinking more, like, the eight or nine for Zam crew. Yeah, I mean that that checks out. Bonus attacks are really good, and we talk about it all the time. That the like the number one thing that all X Wing, you know, our commentary is the more flexibility uh, that that abilities give you, the better it is. And Zam is a, a perfect example of that. You literally yeah. have situational game choice on how things work. Seems pretty yes. solid. So many choices. All right, but you see there, uh, I believe that is Tally getting all up in Grievous's range one bubble. We'll see what and she can po do. Choos po choosing to to dip out a little bit, which is like we were saying. The um, what what he's kind of been doing all game. He's been very cagey. Yeah, by the way, those bombs are thermal detonators. Likely the players just like, hey, it doesn't matter. So just be just be aware. And here's Zam taking the range two shot. Uh, we need to get those bombs first, though. Uh, boom, the bombas. Ba -ba 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 bombas. He, he may not even need to attack Tally if she rolls two hits here on both these bombs. That's just true. It looks like only one was in range. Oh, only one. Okay. All right. Got nothing. Safe, though. Got no. Nothing. <laughs> and here is the roll through the rock. This is going to be a three on four. Uh, and spending the force. The force, yeah. It's going to be two hits. Here's the defense. Absolutely fine. Plenty, plenty of those. So that, that was no no mods on the defense, so that was a, a an iffy roll. And uh, a couple people calling it out. This is true. Uh, by the way, one damage might be going through there. No, false denied. A missed opportunity on uh, on Andre's part as well. Could have called crit or hit. Uh, sorry, I could, could have called crit on the thermal detonator to actually just de Ooh. deal the damage that way. Yeah, that would have been mean. Ah. <laughs> Duke is so good. He's so good. He's so good. 
Uh, I, I just forget how many opportunities that like you have to just like mess with your opponent. Like, like, oh hey, you have like lots of lots of green tokens. Let me just change one of your evades to a blank. <laughs> let me let me change one of my, di my one of my blank attack dice to a to a crit. Do you think Dooku will also go up? Um, um I, I think no. No, I don't. I think Dooku will stay the same. I think it's more about the the platforms it's on. Similar similar to uh to Maul, right? Like yeah. like you they altered more the the platform than the um uh than than actual Maul and it 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 caused Maul to, to kind of fall off. Now, I still think that Maul is really good. Let me let me yeah. let me be clear there. I still think Maul is good, but you don't see him in in scum anymore, mostly because the scum fire sprays, namely Boba Fett, can't take it. But it's still good. You know, it's just it it was it's a situational thing. Yeah, I think I think going up one point wouldn't kill Dooku, but I think the the, the changes should be focused on like what they did with. Uh, the scum fire spray is focused on fixing the platform and not fix because like 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 someone said there you know Dooku was unseen really until a separate separatist fire spray really came out mm -hmm. but and now and now everyone's oh this is too it's a, it's that it's the Leia it's that Leia conundrum you know mm -hmm. when Leia first came out she was eight points seven points and like no one took her it's like oh that's trash that's she's way too expensive it's, it's just it's just okay. It's just a red maneuver, but uh, they lowered her down. <laughs> they lowered her down. And now everyone's like, that's way, you know, I, I, I'd still pay for a red nine, you know? Yep. So value shown. Uh, it's, it's yeah. the value. It's value. Uh, what is it? Perceived value versus actual yeah. value, right? Exactly. Yeah. We know <laughs> what we know. <laughs> And it's comfortable. I mean, look look at our list today. Look at how many instances of Zam there are. Like we, it's it's be, it became a proven commodity, so many people jumped on it. Um, do I still think that there are some uh, undiscovered things that could be really good? Always, always. It's just one of those where in in our timeline we just didn't come across them. And there are likely there have been there likely have been lists out there uh, that have been really good, but we just. You know, they just never came to fruition. The right person didn't play it, or the person who played it didn't play. Maybe, maybe we have some amazing meta breakers inside of people's uh, app builders right now, but we'll never see them. <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, like I said, like like we know what we know, kind of thing. Like we know Zam is good. It's just, it's just like. It's just a fact, you know. Mm -hmm. at, at her price point right now, she is incredible. Like I'm sure, man. Me, me saying that, you know, there's those people out there who love to list tinker. I'm sure, like their lips are chopping. Like that's me. I have it. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> it's in here. One of my 200 lists. It's the <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I use um, the, the, some like mobile. What is it? Uh, Launch Bay. When I'm when I'm yeah. not at home. And uh, yeah, I have way too many lists in there. <laughs> All right, well, one focus only on Zam's attack. She has that lock. Probably, oh. I would probably spend it on everything. Mm. There's the lock. Mm. Got a little better. Two hits. Yeah, if uh, if Zam had rolled a little bit better there, she could have called blank for Dooku on on Tally. Ooh. All right. Well, only going to be a single damage, but Grievous is that oh. half yet? Little by little. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Math is hard. 
<laughs> I always like to double check these answers now before I check them. I've been I've been wrecked too many times, way too many times. I'm just kidding. No hollow grade. No up. Not not today. Ugh. Not today. It's like no. And here is uh, two charges being spent by Ooh. Zam. You should thank me. You should thank me was out there at the end of the engagement. Mm. If it's face down, you could spend two charges to perform Ooh. a bonus attack. Oh! Oh, wait a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, he's he's not in an enemy firing arc. He can't oh, do it. Oh, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait. Wait. Not in. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, you got to you got to actually be shot or shootable. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah, just have, just have to undo it, right? <laughs> no, stop it. <laughs> just the, the rewind button. That's what yeah. it's, it's there for. <laughs> yeah, I actually I came across a tabletop simulator. Uh, not, I don't want to call anybody out. Never mind. I'm not gonna say it. Never mind. Never mind. Never. No. Mind. Never. Mind. No. 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 It teases no, no. like that. No. 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 It would have came off like shade. <laughs> not trying to throw off shade. I've seen people recommend using the undo and rewind Ooh. time buttons. I I'll just say that. I've seen I've seen some people do this. This is bad. <laughs> but would not recommend. Do I would not recommend. Is today the the first day of meteor meteorological spring? Is that today? I know today's actually my first day of spring break. Woo woo spring break. <laughs> What what is vacation? This is true. I mean, I'm gonna be spending it putting yeah. putting the studio together. Yeah, it's like it's like you're just gonna be and, in your house the whole time, like and, <laughs> and cleaning. What this early? Yeah, our our school district doesn't do it around Easter. Um, I guess we technically get to double dip, right? Because I also get Good Friday and Easter Monday off. I don't know. I don't argue. The calendar the calendar says don't go to work next week and I go, okay. <laughs> I can do well, you I don't can, complain? You don't complain about your time off? Mm -mm. I can do <laughs> I can do my X Wing job for a week with without having to I can work one I can work one job for one week is what it means. <laughs> I was I was actually uh, thinking about that the other day. I know, I know you had looked at uh, taking some time off of work of of your main job and uh, mm -hmm. focusing on X Wing. Uh, that was like a year and a half ago, I think. Mm hmm. Well, uh, whatever happened with that? It's it's one of those things where it's always kind of it's close to there. Um, the pandemic, like, honestly, w getting close to the pandemic, like before the start of, of the whole COVID thing, it was a serious consideration. Like, um, you know, had the conversations already with my wife, we looked at financials and said, Hey, this might make sense, um, to do, you know, next school year. Uh, but then COVID and we're like, no, not going to take this risk. I'm just gonna, yeah. You know, so so yeah. right now, right now, I'm just not 100 percent comfortable doing it. Is it still a possibility at some point? Yeah, I'm telling you, th there's a lot of consideration because there's so much more stuff that I want to do, and it's literally just a time thing. I don't have enough hours in the day. Yeah, yeah, I I I, I, I bet. <laughs> mm-hmm. Two range two, going at tally here. And there is the trail mix. Has the lock set up already. Going to go ahead and re-roll both. And there we go. Spend oh. the force. Make it a full string. The crit gets Ooh. through. We'll see what tally gets. And that's oh. a direct hit. Gone. But because of simultaneous fire, we'll be able to get a shot here. Under Grievous. Let's see. Maybe... They could take her down with her, but that's not mm. the case. No. Spends for one, probably shakes this one off. Yeah, sh sh chasing Grievous like this is just 
It's, a, it's just a trap. Like, he has, so, he has so many defensive mods there. Len Barry, I don't understand your, your comment. Play a game on a friendly channels? Question mark. I like games. <laughs> oh, the GSP Studio um, real table got set up. If you guys saw the, I think I did. I post a picture on Discord. I don't know if I did. Um, it's it's set up. I don't think so. Maybe, did I it, not set? Did I not take a picture? Did I, okay. Is there another game after this? Yes, this is round one of six, <laughs> friends. Oh, you're in for a big surprise, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're going to be begging for us to stop by the end of this. <laughs> I can't pull away. Now you just stay with me. <laughs> uh, coming in from Jonah, our producer, uh, the win condition. What, 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 what do you think the win condition here is for Matthew? So for Matthew, um, if he wants to win... He has to have Zam. Grievous will not give him enough points, so having Zam is the win condition. So can he deal, uh, let's see, what is that? Uh, three damage to Zam. Well, I think I think our timer just went off, and... Without giving up one hull on Poe. Yeah, I, th I think they're talking about playing one more round or not. No, they cannot. It's over. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was, like wait, wait, I was waiting for Dion to say it. I was like, yeah. I wasn't gonna say it. <laughs> it's like the timer went off. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, Jonah. Yeah, it looked like they only had the only way for Poe to win would be do that three damage to Zam and not take anything in her turn. The only way to win is to literally rewind time. <laughs> Yeah. Too, it's too late. All right. Well, congratulations, Andre, getting the W. And we are going to head yeah, back. Great, great game. Here. We are running a little bit behind because of some of the issues we had in this one. So we're going to run to the players.